this video I will show you how to create asymmetric text effect in Procreate. We will use Procreate's drawing guide and some other features that really make it easy to create asymmetric art. And believe me, you can follow this tutorial even if you are a complete beginner to digital art. Before we start, you can get the tutorial files via the download link in the description below. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. Let's go ahead and create a new canvas. For that I will click on this plus button here, then again and enter the dimensions 2000 by 2500 pixels. I've made a rather limited color palette with these yummy names. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna use monoline brush that is already in Procreate. In the end, I will only apply a pattern from my brush set with seamless patterns. You can get all these files for free in the description below the video. And if you like my YouTube tutorials and want to see even more, please check out my Patreon page where I share in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets. The link to my Patreon is also below the video. With that being said, let's start drawing. And first of all, I will adjust one setting in the monoline brush. Let's find it in the calligraphy set. I will open it and in properties set minimum size to none. This will help us get thinner lines. As we all know, Procreate is a great painting app that has many cool features and tools. One of them is isometric drawing guide that is very easy to use. I already have a tutorial with isometric room. If you missed it, you can find it here on my YouTube channel. Now let's activate the drawing assist that will help us create isometric text easily. For that I will go to actions, canvas and enable drawing guide first. Let's click edit drawing guide and select this one, isometric. The grid size is set to 90 pixels. We can use it. If you like, you can change the opacity and thickness. I will keep it as it is. Let's just make sure that assisted drawing is on. And click done. Now let's go to the color palette and grab plum. Also reduce the size of the brush. It can be set to around 5%. I will put the starting point here and draw a box with the following dimensions. five units to this side and then three. We can connect it. Also it will go one unit down. And I will also connect them. Later we will fit the letter here. I am going to write the word nice. So the second letter that will be I is specific. It will have the following dimensions. One unit up, then five units this way, one to this side, and I will finish drawing a box like this. If you draw a line quick, it will follow the grid, due to the assisted drawing. Let's now skip one unit to this side and draw another box for the next letter. It will have exactly same dimensions as the first one. 5 by 3, like this, and one unit down. Let's draw the last one exactly the same way. Three boxes here to this side. Then I will connect it and finish the box. Now we have a template. If you are writing some other word, you may need to change this box and make it also same as this three. Now let's create a new layer on top of this one and reduce the opacity of our template. I will set it to 30%, so it is slightly visible. Let's make sure to turn on Drawing Assist on this layer too, so I will tap on it and activate Drawing Assist from this menu. Let's continue using the same color, but increase the brush size to 15%. I picked these dimensions of the boxes intentionally 
they make it very easy to fit the letters in the boxes. So the first letter will be N, and we need to fit it. I will draw these parallel lines first. Then this. And on these two sides. They can be a little bit longer. I am trying to be very accurate and match all the corners. Now let's count three boxes from here and put a dot. I will first draw a line like this, then start from here, wait a second and then connect it. This way drawing assist won't work. Now let's do the same on this side. I will also count three boxes, put a dot and then connect it. Then with this side, these two lines need to be parallel. This letter came out perfect. Let's switch to the next one, which is very easy. We just need to outline the box on top. Like this. Matching all the corners. The next one will be letter C. It is also very easy. Let's draw these parallel lines. Then this one. Two more. And connect them here. Very carefully. Then these two. Now we can draw the last letter. I will start from this side. Then these two lines. Short ones. And finish it this way. Try to make your work clean. So it will look more professional. Let's connect it. And the first stage is ready. Now let's do this. Duplicate the layer. Go to the one below. Click on the arrow. And in snapping. Enable magnetics. Now we can drag it down and match it with the lower side of the template. Like this. After that, go to the layer and reduce its opacity. So it doesn't look so messy. We can set it to around 36% and also remove the first layer, since we don't need it anymore. Let's now go back here. And this time, we need to connect every single corner that is visible from the top layer with the one at the bottom. Let me show you. So I will start with this corner and keep the same brush size. Drawing the lines going down. Now let's connect this. Draw another vertical line. And we need to consider which part is visible and which one is not. Let's also outline the letter at the bottom. Only what we can see. And here we need to match it. Like this. Let's switch to the next one and draw vertical lines here as well. Connecting every single corner, as I said. Then outline it here. The visible part. And then we also need to match it. This one is also ready. Let's go to the letter C. It doesn't have so many corners, so we can do it fast. First I will draw vertical lines. We have these corners and two more to connect. This one is invisible, so we can outline only this. It goes until here and then these two on the front. Let's also try to match it with this line. 
All right. Here comes the last letter. I will also do it very carefully. And match all the corners. Okay, we can see this. Then also these two that need to be connected. And two more. Now we only need to outline the visible part here on the front. I will start at the bottom and go around the letter, matching the corners carefully and also these lines. Let's continue this one and finally connect these two. Now we can remove the second layer and this is what you will get. Finally, we can proceed to coloring. At this stage we don't need the grid anymore, so let me go and remove it. Before we start adding the colors to the letters, let's change the background color. For that I will tap on the background and select raspberry. Now let's go to the layers and create a layer under the layer with the outlines. I'd like to keep the outlines separately and to be able to do that, Let's do this. Tap on the layer with the outlines and set it as reference. Now we can work on a new layer below. And first I will color the part that goes horizontally like this on the top surface. Let's use lemon color. I will just drag it on the lattice. And you may need to adjust color drop threshold. So there are no gaps between the outlines and the color. Let's now create another layer below this one. So if we keep all the surfaces separately, later it will be easy to apply patterns. Now I will color the vertical ones with mint. Let me just fill the first one and then tap here to continue filling with the color. We need to move this target cross and adjust flat if needed. Then just tap on the other surfaces that are located in the same dimension with this one. Let's make sure we didn't forget anything. And then deselect. Finally create one last layer. Can be also located below this one. I will grab peach color and also drag it in the first shape. Then tap here and move the cross. Then tap quickly in the remaining shapes and they will be filled. Now it is ready and before applying a pattern, let's add the shadow under the lattice. To do that, I will first duplicate layer number 4 with yellow color. Grab one of them and place under all layers. Now I will turn it into black. We can do it easily by going to adjustments, then hue saturation brightness and set brightness to none. It is pure black. After that I will apply motion blur. Let's find it in adjustments. I will select it and slide my pencil to the left horizontally. Set the amount of motion blur to around 36 or 38 percent. Then click on the arrow and move it slightly down without magnetics or snapping. Just try to match it with the edges of the lattice. Now let's go back to layers and set this one as reference. Then create another layer above it and we can toggle the visibility of the layer with black color since we don't need it. Now we need to use selection. It's here. I will switch to automatic mode and remove color fill. Then tap on the background to select it. And also this area inside. If your selection doesn't look like this, you may need to adjust it by sliding the pencil to the left or right to adjust the selection threshold. Once it looks like mine, we will need to invert it. And then tap on the brush. In airbrushing section, I will pick soft brush. 
and pick the color for the shadow. It will be cherry. Now we only need to paint inside the selection. This way. And adjust the location if needed. Match it more carefully. The shadow is ready. And we can add the patterns. You can actually try to add them on any surface you like, or even on all at once. I will add it on the layer with yellow color. So let me go here, create a layer above it, and then clip it, to keep the pattern inside. After that I will pick white color, and we only need to select a pattern. There is something in textures from Procreate, for example this one, you can try it, or pick any pattern you like. I will be using this polka dots pattern from my set. The size is set to 30%. And I will just apply it on the entire surface, like this. Nice! After this final step, our isometric text is complete. If you share your version on social media, please tag me in your post, so I will be able to see it. You can also access more drawing tutorials on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.